What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to Soul to the Dungeon. <laughs> Where last time we punished a bad, bad bunny witch. <laughs> and you guys complained about the voice I gave her in the comments. All right, fine. Noble was just trying to have a little fun. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, um, yeah, I, let's just get back to the dungeoning. Well, actually, let's go back to town where we can talk to some people. All right, so we got a few things that we can do here. Let's, uh, let's talk to Isabella now that we had a new little thing uh, <laughs> that, that we can run around in, a new costume. Oh, welcome back, my humble master. Oh, you seem to have a, a, a skip in your step today. <laughs> skip in your step because I got a skimpy outfit. That's what's up. Skip for the skimp. You know what's up. Oh, I most certainly do. I pull out bunny ears and present them to Isabella. Ah, I see. That outfit was one of my favorites too. <laughs> it's one of my favorites too. I love little bunnies. Sari must be very happy about this. If by happy, you mean modified, then yes. This fucking sucks. Suck it. Um, now, now. Rabbits are supposed to be nice little creatures. I don't know about you, but I played some Rabbit Ripper, and Erin uh, is a fucking badass bunny bitch. <laughs> Go watch out for that one. You must correct that sour attitude of yours before you can wear this. Yes, of course. And also, that bunny witch was fucking tough as nails. Um, naturally, you will be wearing the bunny ears. Of course, naturally. Uh, let's just get this over with. <laughs> oh, they're both getting bunnied up. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my sweet. All of my yes is now here. All of my yes. Okay. New favorite costumes. Jeez, I like the fox ears on that, too. I know it's are natural ears, but I think it suits it. I think it suits it. Anyway. This reminds me a lot of uh, Soccer Swim Club right now. She she looks essentially like uh, the other girl. <laughs> but but anyway, um, every bit is what I imagine to be adorable. You mean uh, that that is sexy? Um, Isabella flicks her bunny ears. Aw, stop that! <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Enough of this humiliation. Oh, I I know you love it. Uh. I gently pat Siri on the head. Wait, is she like supposed to be like a bunny girl now too? You're gonna pat her on the head. Um, look, I'm wearing one as well. There's no need to be embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. There's plenty to be to be embarrassed of. Yeah, I know. It specifically showcases that belly button. I don't know what it is, but this is cute. Um, Sarah runs up. Oh no, she ran off. Um, she'll be back. <laughs> yes, of course, she'll be back. Eventually. Fucking shit, that's hilarious. Oh, that's so good. Uh, okay, let's let's see what's going on in the shop. I need to buy some stuff here anyway. As I started the shop, I can't help but notice a customer. Oh! Oh, even now, okay. Um, there was a war out there that needs to be fought. Surely you can show some altruism for a battle hard veteran. <laughs> altruism? Oh, yeah? I'm sorry, but I cannot make it any cheaper than it is. <laughs> that's right. Bitch needs to make some money. Um, then perhaps I could persuade you with my bla- Whoa! If there's one thing I cannot tolerate, is threats made towards my support. What the fuck? Uh, perhaps I should teach this war a lesson. Uh, yeah, fucking fight the bitch. What are you doing? Quite frankly, no one speaks to my support like that. No one threads my waifus. <laughs> Especially not my other waifus. <laughs> waifu, waifu, anyway. Um, tell me, Woya. Yeah? Why do you need cheaper goods so badly? How is it any of your bit? Well, you're my fucking subordinate. Well, it must be fairly important. Because trying to intimidate my shopkeeper is a bad, bad idea. <laughs> is she like the highest level? Usually shopkeepers are badass. Uh, I cast a spell to some of my subordinates. Oh, okay, so she's instantly here and still looks around for a moment, but days, what the shit? What? What just happened then? Good thing she wasn't in the middle of the bath. Sorry, there's no time to explain. No killer. <laughs> what? Um, interesting. Let battle decide our fate. Wait, I'm fighting? <laughs> Is that to see if she even have a sword? My knight ducks below a blade. Oh, shit. Well, come on, Fox. I was relaxing. Nothing can be done about it. You're just sitting in your fucking subordinate. All right. All right, sure. I guess I'm fighting my warrior. What the? Wait, I I'm fighting my warrior with my warrior? How is that even possible? 
Oh, all right, triple slash, I guess. Oh yeah, that she that don't work at all there. Well, that's fine. I'll just. I wonder if I can capture my own. What that'd be weird. But let's just combust the bitch. She should be dead after. The, oh no. Unless she fucking dodges like a fucking pro ass bitch ass bitch ass oh. Uh, I just combined two bitch asses in there. That's not. That's not how that works. All right, I downed her. Found twenty two. I'm even pillaging my own warrior's corpse. I don't know if that's good. That's probably not good. Oh. All right. <laughs> it says so. We already got a CG of a warrior girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> she is very sour. And ooh, very nice. I like them that shout <laughs> so anyway. I, I I'm being really bad. That's that's good though. She gonna punch me in the face though? Huh? Don't please don't do that. There we go. After our fight, the warriors were thor thoroughly defeated. Warriors? Uh there was only one that I saw, <laughs> but alright. She still looks back to finally, however. Yes, yeah, very defiantly. Well scantily clad and very broken. Um damn you. She looks down at her turn clothes. <laughs> yes, sorry. What an embarrassing defeat. Yes, I am being embarrassed too if my clothes are ripped. Perhaps what you need isn't lower prices. Mm. But a reassessment of what you were doing with your life. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Get fucking wrecked. Uh, I'm a warrior spirit, but it's all I know. With all the time you have spent harassing my shopkeeper, you could have been practicing battle, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. If you're going to rely on excessive healing arms or petty little baubles to win your battle for you, don't you think that you're just making yourself weaker? Oh! Insulting her pride! I see how you did that. She looks down at herself then. I... Perhaps you have a point. <laughs> yes! Don't be a little bitch! I would rather live through battle than die pointlessly. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm scared of death. Who the fuck is it? Nobody wants to fucking die! Um, well that's normal, isn't it? I mean, come on, <laughs> yeah. Only a fool would not be afraid of death. This is, this is true. <laughs> I like a serious buddy in there, thank you. Um, I've known quite a few people who did not fear death. Let's just say that they met her long before those who feared <laughs> Oh, damn. Ooh, those, sorry about that. Oh, well, we know what happened to her party then. Um, however, you must have the wisdom to understand uh, what impact your choices have. When another person came, they wouldn't, uh, they probably wouldn't have let you l uh, leave alive. So just remember, warrior spirit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now you're a bitch. Some good manners can get you places too. R right. If you want to threaten people for supplies still, then it would be wise for you to not to do that here. Because <laughs> I will fucking wreck your shit. Um, you do not come into my town and threaten my subordinates. Do you understand me? Oh, shit! Yes, understood. Good, bitch. Now, let's get some sexy time. <laughs> no, anyway, head to the end and get cleaned up. I will let you stay here if you do not cause any more trouble. But very well. I promise that I will not linger. She slowly picks herself up and heads off to the shop's entrance. Oh, alright. So, uh, gonna go now? <laughs> really? After all that work, you just wanna leave? Um, I really need to catch up on sleep. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Just get the fuck out of here, bitch. I'm sorry, I do not uh, want this matter to bother you. We already have so much on our plate, after all. Um, do not worry about it. My subordinate safety is more important than the dungeon. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank you. Why can't you just save Charlotte? She have a fucking name, man. Um, well, now that we settle this, do you need anything? You still gonna make me pay for this shit? God damn it, woman, I saved your goddamn life. <laughs> I'm at a discount. Alright, it's time to go back to the dungeon, so let's do it. Let's go capture some more bitches. I've grinded a little bit. I can do this, boys. Believe in me. Alright, here we go. Finally, I got my sword, bitch. Alright, let's let's see if I can capture her. Not, not kill her too much. Just wanna weaken her up. Soften her, soften her up, baby. You know what I'm saying, boys. Alright, see if I can get her now? Maybe? Yeah, got her! <laughs> Aw, yeah! We found ourselves quite the prize. Oh, yes, we have. Uh, why did I say my thoughts in Yummy's what This game's getting to me. Um, having someone who can easily switch between physical attacks and magical attacks is a great advantage. 
Perhaps you could teach me how she does it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It would take a long time, sir. <laughs> ah! Witches have an innate ability to learn quickly. Sword witches in particular apply to both magic and swordsmanship. But we'll see if we can sh if we can show you how it's done. Oh man, don't be so cruel. I would like that, Fox. My guild would be far more appreciative of me if I could also... She, she assumes that she'll go back to her guild. Poor girl. Um, I appreciate you right now. How very nice of you to say. Mm -hmm. Maybe some lesbian. Um, th thank you, I suppose. Um, Sylvie simply clutches her staff and like, Oh, she getting jelly! Perhaps I should learn to use this to fight hand to hand. Oh, she wants to do. Th oh my God, she's cute. If it gets Yummy's attention. Oh my God, they're so cute. All right, let's let's get our witch babe. I'm excited about martial weaponry and magic. She is ready for any opponent. <laughs> all right. I don't know why I was doing that in like a friggin' Scottish accent, but whatever. It's all okay. Let's do it. Is someone there? The sword wielding ma witch. Uh, why was I gonna say magic there? At uh, least against the parts of her prison. Um, if you're going to imprison someone, you should at least tell them why. And if you beat me in battle, you need to be respectful. <laughs> well, you know, I, I need a sex life. Again, no, no, we we keep it classy. Um, but that is why I'm here. The reason why I've captured you is that I uh, so that I can negotiate with you. Negotiate with me, you say? Is there something I could share with you, my dear fox spirit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you in such a skimpy outfit? Um, she lands up against the bars even more. Well, all right. Get a... Perhaps you are feeling a little bit low. Whoa, I wasn't even going to suggest that, but okay, maybe we can do that. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. Uh, I have not had a lover in a long time, so we can have a job. Well, I think I volunteer. No volunteers is tribute. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I went. Uh, not quite a lament, but a tempting offer nonetheless. Oh, she's just like, all right, I like this. How would you like to work with me? Uh, we could use a witch with your talents. Oh, I'm very glad that someone admires me. There are a few people who'd appreciate the arts of mixing magic with martial arts. I'm pretty sure that's pretty badass. I mean, I, I think that's good. And um, believe me, I observed your actions in battle, and I am certain that you would make a fine addition to our cause. And what might that cause be? What does a fox spirit like you want with this dungeon? <laughs> to conquer everything! <laughs> but, um, let's just say that I'm not content with letting the current owner do what they like with it. And I am aiming to relieve them of their position by fucking decapitating them. <laughs> but, well, now that is interesting. Very, very interesting. The sword witch seems to be getting excited. Whoa, now don't get too excited now. I'm never content with how things are at the moment either. So I'd, I'd be more than happy to lend a blade to your cause. Well, wonderful to hear. Let's do our best. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do our best together. So I would just join the party and maybe keep her up on that other offer. I'm just saying, alright? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Oh. Seems to be something here. Well, this is an odd room. <laughs> well, yeah. It looks like a... Uh, Observatory of some kind. Hmm. So he leans uh, onto the railings, looking at the gigantic device in the middle of the room. Do you remember this? <laughs> She's. I hope she does. Absolutely. Oh, I remember it too. <laughs> oh, this is where they bonded. Um, this used to be my favorite room in the whole dungeon. Mm, my mine too. It's nice to see that it's still here. Oh, well, what does it do? What is it, Yomi? It's an observatory. Oh yeah, no one calls it. No one knows this observatory. Although, how could you have a observatory on floor eight in the depths of a dungeon? How does that even work? Uh, with this device, I watch the cycle of the stars and the moon without having to return to the surface. Magic. And why would you want to do that? Certain deities and beings appear only at particular times, or can be contacted only uh, at particular lunar cycles. I had a lot of free time. <laughs> well, yeah, no shit. It's like you got anything to do when there's no internet, you know? <laughs> it's, like, it's a sad world when there's no internet. So I use this room as a means of contacting otherworldly beings. In addition to tracking the planetary cycle of the solar system, you can magically project messages beyond our world. Ooh, to the other Sakura games. Um, 
otherworldly beings. Yeah, it's fox to me. Could there be any cute animals out there I could tame? You just want to tame everything, you bitch. It is possible. The fox is like, oh, at her and just. He's like, so bitch, no one takes my spot. Um, hey, it's not like I don't love you guys, too. <laughs> she just wants more. She's got her hair on the fucking foxes. Um, uh, we're just expanding the family, that's all. Um, curious. What sort of the other worldly beings have you made contact with? Ancient civilizations, gods, demigods, you know, no big. I'm you sure that you should be contacting them in the first place? It's, it's, that's a little bit dangerous. You so that's the start of other fantasy novel settings going horribly wrong. Um, what is life without some risk? Oh, fucking goddamn it, Yomi. Um, I have little interest in such things. Can this device have fell armies with our quest in the dungeon? <laughs> God damn it, warrior. Not directly. Then let me know uh, the when we're leaving. <laughs> Son of a bitch, warrior. <laughs> um, oh, very interesting. The uh, sword witch looks up at the device with curiosity. I wonder what mysteries I could discover with this device. I I would rather you not touch it for the time being. Oh, God damn it. Would I might see something I'm not supposed to? Yes, that is exactly what I would, but yeah, yeah, no shit, woman. Uh, I never thought I'd be hearing things like this again. One of my adventuring parties had an astronomer in it, and they were, uh, would not be quiet about the cycle of the stars, the moon, and the sun. But at least I can follow uh, what you're saying this time. Oh, she, she's learned it now. Um, I find that quite surprising. Now, who is asking you, you rude elf? Oh, this is a discussion between Yomi and I. It's not as if you're in charge of this party. Mm -mm -mm, I'm a happy bitch. I can say whatever I like. Mm. Enough of that. Anyway, Siri. It sounds like you learned much uh, from him then. Oh, you either listened uh, or went mad with him in your body. Oh, okay. There's actually he's in the world. So, these otherworldly beings. Do I want to know what, uh, why you were contacting them? I have gleaned many secrets of the cosmos from the conversations I had in this inn. Oh, this room, I'm sorry. So, uh, the answer is knowledge. <laughs> she just wants to learn stuff beyond our comprehension. Well, that's good as an answer, answer as any. She looks more closely at the observatory. Are there any deities or otherworldly beings that we could talk to right now? Oh, interested, are we? <laughs> well, that's going to be a boss, probably. But it appears that the observatory isn't functioning at the moment. Ah, I, I know what spell is, is for now. Yeah, we kind of learned one. I bought the straw the sword witch gave me. S so, this is the vice you mentioned? Mm, couldn't possibly be anything else. <laughs> All right! <laughs> She's just fucking cast anyway. Guys, the spell, the mechanism of the absurdity come to life. Hey, it works! Incredible. Uh, make sure to visit the absurdity now and then. You might discover secrets with it. Oh, alright. Some more story events. Alright, so what? I th don't I have to go in now? I didn't learn anything. Let me change the observatory. You'll return later. Okay. Okay, sure. Alright, let's go inside. Is it a bo Oh, it's a bitch room. Queen. Alright then. A throne room. Well, let's take a rest. It's in here. It's a grand taste. Um, you didn't actually build this yourself? <laughs> what? No, I, I haven't. Not at all. Um,. I do not like the feeling of this place. I can feel dark magic at work. <laughs> oh, goody! Should we back out for now? But she just goes silent as we all t look towards the throne. Mm. Oh, it's a succubus? Oh my god! Look at that butt! <laughs> it's got a heart shape on it! <laughs> oh my god, that's so dumb! Oh, she's even got a heart-shaped titty coverings. Glorious. <laughs> Alright, I like this. I want the succubus. Uh, so these are the ones who have been causing all of this trouble. A succubus. A strong succubus. At that. <laughs> oh, she can suck my butt. <laughs> ah! um, so that is what the feeling was. You seem familiar with my kind, Fox. She gives a smile which only shows teeth. Ooh. So tell me, what business does a fox spirit such as yourself have with this dungeon? And more importantly, 
For what purpose are monsters and, hu and a human working together? <laughs> because of friendship! Um, a dark elf traveling with you makes this even more bizarre. I've heard that they uh, never leave the elven metropolis these days. Let's just say that we have shared interests in this dungeon. What? Not going to give a grand speech about your motives? <laughs> well, we're not villains! That's reserved for them! Uh, maybe protecting the land? Want you to prove yourself? Something like those lines. What about you, human? Anything you want to say? She silly playing this up. Well, you know, we're not like heroes here. We're kind of villains. We just want our dungeon back. I was never really one for speeches. Well, that was more something I let other party members do. <laughs> yeah, like we, we we just attack people relentlessly. Uh -huh. So you're are you really adventurer? This makes it me very very curious. Um, although they're still frightened, the foxes have rallied around the tamer. Oh, now what are you doing here? She'd be playing on the lower levels with those dumb animals. Whoa! You should uh, never underestimate the power of overwhelming numbers, succubus. <laughs> Alright. And what of this? A witch is working with you? Do you even know what powers they consult with? My power is my own. I will use it whatever way I please. And right now, I think I will use it to impale you on a glitch. Wow, damn, she is fucking brutal. Uh, the word renews her resolve. Whoa, with one foot, she stomps on the floor, causing a slight crack in the stone. I will show you my determination, foul demon. Uh, I can feel your passion burning from all the way over here. Um, a succubus of all things. Now this should be a fun fight. Oh, the swordwitch's blade dances with fire. Nice trick. I bet I can do better. <laughs> oh, shit! The second of his eyes settle on Sylvie. Um, you also make me curious. She likes to have both of them with hungry eyes. Oh, God, we're gonna get raped! <laughs> no! Um, you both look so... Like such a very fine meal. What? Uh... Uh, aren't succubus supposed to go after men? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? What's up with that? We have preferences, too. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Of course in this game! And you fit my preferences perfectly. As does the Dark Elf. I will not submit to the likes of you, succubus! <laughs> uh, you only have one girl you want to submit to. Um, how haughty. I like him that way. <laughs> I like him, too. <laughs> anyway, so happy. She turns back to Sari. Why don't you abandon that petty little fox and have some fun with me? I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> oh, wait, why not? Oh, I'm disappointing. Very well. For seeming, uh, from seemingly nowhere, she pulls out a wicked looking blade. <laughs> I don't know, I thought she had it all this time. Oh. Flames engulf its surface, rating terrible heat. Um, what is with monsters and setting their swords on fire in this dungeon? Well, you know, it's cool. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, level 17. Fun times. Jesus. Um, so let's thunder her then. She like that? Okay, she's she's level 17 still. So. Uh, well, how about some poison, huh? You like poison? Alright, no, you can just dodge it. You know, that's cool. How about that? You know what? Fine! Floating! That's fucking cool! We have to use fucking magic on this bitch! Holy shit, how about, how about some fire, huh? Oh, she's resisted to it. Of course she's resisted to it. How about that, huh? Fuck you! Oh, okay. We, we, we can do it. Time to turn things up a bit. Her power... Oh, no! No! <laughs> Not my sword, bitch! This ain't good. Yeah! Got it! <laughs> Got it! You found a hundred mana shards. There are scorch marks everywhere. The curtains have long since burnt to cinders. <laughs> oh no, they burned everything! But, but I silly lies on the floor, knocked out by my subordinates. Siri is panting heavily, beads of sweat r dripping from her brow. <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm reading it all cool like. <sighs> oh, she, was, she was a bit tough, she was, she was a bit tough. What a battle that was. She collapses onto her back. Oh no! Well, at least she's got her buddy tails a cushion. Uh, yummy. It'll be okay if we take a break after this. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, looks like everyone made it up through okay. She looks around her little friends. All of them are just as exhausted as she is. 
Oh, one of them plops onto its stomach, Patty. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, you did great, all of you. I never thought I would have to exhaust nearly all of my spells in my book. You don't have that many. You can only have up to six in this game, you know? <laughs> Books are kind of dumb. <laughs> like Pokemon. Except sexy women Pokemon. Uh, her book is open. The tips of its pages singed. Aw. She looks down at it and lets out a little laugh. Well, at least I got a chance to try them all out. <laughs> Aw. The warrior of spider injuries is still standing tall. We have triumphed! Well done, my companions. But, well, you'd use a moment of rest. <laughs> Aw, oh, okay, warrior. Oh, that was a bit as exciting as I was expecting it to be. Mm, she certainly knew how to thrust that sword. <laughs> God, the innuendos! <laughs> I know you like thrusting swords. <laughs> the look on her face is far too sultry for my liking. Oh, I think it, I like him a little soldier. Sorry falls onto her back and stares at the ceiling. I would like to go enjoy some of my time in bed. The warm air and a cold drink. That would be fine, Sari. We should take a moment to celebrate our victory. Sari's so also exhausted. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Um, it seems that my training has a long way to go. How could it suck you to be so strong? Have I performed exorcisms on them before with no trouble? Uh, well, some are stronger than others. It was a boss. Um, that is the nature of this dungeon, Salvi. It is then that I hear movement in the room. Ooh, another one? Looking back to where the succubus was, I see only empty- Oh, she got away! Damn it. She escaped somehow. Oh no, my sexy waifu! Where did she go? There was only one entrance to this room, and she definitely did not pass us. Um, whoever that succubus was, we should not take her lightly. Damn. I thought we finished the mission. No! Monsters don't die. We're not killing sexy women. We only pass them out, just like Pokemon. Um... I, I suppose she was a lot stronger than we thought. Oh well. If we beat her once, then we can beat her again. So she's gonna be like a recurring boss? I'm a, I'm okay with that. Absolutely. And honestly, it was really thrilling to, uh, to battle it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was not bad. Um, I will never address, understand humans. She nearly obliterated us. Did you seem happy about it? <laughs> well, it's fun to battle stronger enemies, yes? That's how you learn. Um... You need to f uh, find some joy in battle, Sylvie. I begin to wander over to the throne. Looking at the seeds uh, of her throne, I see something dark and glistening. Wedged underneath the throne's cushion. Oh, a secret switch? Oh, a warp shard. <laughs> a warp shard, what? Oh, okay, I guess we know how she escaped that. Son of a bitch! If she used the warp shard, she could be anywhere by now. Yes, that's why we need to be careful. But it, this is a good opportunity. I'm looking for my followers together. Oh, we're just warping back to town. Let's use this to get back to town. All right, fine. I have you are going to uh, uh, to get some well-deserved break. Oh, that would be a nice fox. She, well, how come no one says each other's name? They just say like fox or how come you can't name your girls? I would love to name my bitches. Oh, well, she actually ends up leaning on me like she used to do when she was exhausted. Oh, mm. I gently pat her on the head. How come everyone wants pet pats in this game? It's all right now. We're going home. The warp shot begins to resonate in my hand. And then blackness appears before me for just a moment. Oh. All right. So head back to town. So after dealing with that succubus, uh, another teleporter and I line up lit up. Oh, so we got a new dungeon. It'll take us to another part of the dungeon. Well, that's good news at least. Oh, so we got different parts, new, new backgrounds. Oh, and I think I have regained enough of my strength. I will be fighting for- OH MY GOD, I REALLY GET YUMMY TO FIGHT WITH! What, really? Yes. Now you can rely on me as well, Seru. Oh, yay! Uh, I look forward to it, Yomi. Yomi is now available to fight- Oh, shit, yes! Even if Yomi is not in battle, she will gain experience every time her servants defeat a monster. And if you're going to use her, be careful. If Yomi is defeated, you'll be game- Oh, shit! Wow! Oh man, stakes are high with that bitch! My god! That's cool though! That's really cool! But um... I think that's a good place to end this episode here! Alright! That was awesome! Good to use Yomi now! So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode here! Uh, it's a little longer than usual, I'm gonna try and make these uh, episodes a little bit longer so we can get through this game because it's fucking... 
enormous. <laughs> so, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you beautiful sons of guns again next time. You crazy mother...